back. Tiara here with Gypsy Fae Creations, and I got a new soap mold today. Okay, maybe it's not a soap mold, but can I soap with it? I'm gonna try. We shall find out. So we are making a guilt-free donut today, and that's because it's made out of soap. <laughs> I just got those off of Amazon, and I will leave the link in the description box down below if you are interested in trying them. They apparently work really good with bath bombs too because I've seen those done as well and maybe I'll try those maybe I'll just make soap in them we'll see all right not working with too much soap oils here because I think they're gonna hold about two ounces each we shall find out um, those are my calculations anyway and we're going to make all 12 of them the scent is going to be French toast why I had it laying around and didn't know what to do with it and I kind of imagined in my head what a French toast donut would look like. So let's blend our oils, our water, lye, and sodium lactate solution together. Okie doke. So the colors that I'm using, I've got a little bit of titanium dioxide in water and some lustrous brown mica powder from Nurtures. And I'm going to cut it, I think, hmm, let's, let's split this first. We're gonna put the white in there. I'm just gonna do an in the pot swirl. And then I'm going to put the fragrance just in this bowl, which will be the brown, because it might have um, vanillin in it. And if it turns the white brown, then it's pointless. So let's put the brown in here. We'll just, we'll just do, we'll start with that and see what it looks like. And it smells like maple syrup and cinnamon. Yum. Let's blend this up. That is good there. And then this one. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells like breakfast. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> you know you want to eat it. Mm -hmm. I think I can get down there. <laughs> Sorry, it's not French toast. Oh, come on. It's donuts. <laughs> Making the donuts. Alright, this looks good. I really want this to stay fluid so that it's easier to pour into these molds. As you can see, it it's an odd shape. Alright, so I'm going to... Make sure this is all incorporated. And then I'm going to pour this in one side and then the other side. And we'll just scrape that out there. So before I got into soap making and before I worked at a dental office, I worked in a grocery store bakery. Not exactly the realest bakery you can work in, but I had a passion for baking and I worked my way up to Baker. It was just me and another girl whose name was also Tierra. There was two Tierra bakers in this bakery and I was the perfectionist. I didn't want anyone else to bake because if you weren't going to do it right, then there was no point in doing it all, especially making donuts. <laughs> and I loved that job except I had to wake up at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> there is no way around that. If you are baking fresh bread and fresh donuts and muffins, you need to wake up that early. And it is not fun at all. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I just enjoyed making all of that stuff and I'm, I kind of miss it J just a little bit. I am now, full-time super instead of full-time baker. I was even in charge of making all of the birthday cakes at work until at one point I was like, look, I just, I don't have the time to do it anymore. Sorry guys. And you're gonna figure it out. No one wants to bake for me. Everyone's like, my stuff is going to be from a box and you are just going to stick your nose up at me. And yes, I am. I shall. Not, not going to eat anything out of a box, sorry. But when I worked in the bakery, I was there for a good mm, 
four years. You either were the baker, and then someone came in an hour later and started the donuts. And I'm the kind of person that, like, I wanted to do it all. But you can't. There's just no time for that. When I made the donuts at work, the icing had to be perfect. The sprinkles had to be even. <laughs> they couldn't be smushed. You had to have the right combination. You had to try all the different toppings. <sighs> Nothing could be dripping down the side. And now I'm making soap donuts. So I'm hoping to use those same techniques. Only I can't help but be, be messy here. <laughs> Hard to believe, I know. And I'm hoping I can just look. This is going to be perfect, okay? This is going to be the perfect amount of soap. I think I did it. And then I have it on top of a cutting board. So if I need to jimmy this, just to get the air bubbles out and make sure everything is even. So far, so good. I'm really excited about these. And I'm going to let them sit probably only for 12 hours and I'll come back to unmold them. Should come out pretty easily. This mold looks really, really flexible and flimsy and just, it's going to be an angel, isn't it? It's going to come out there so nicely. <laughs> and then I'm going to get some melt and pour together and dip them just like a real donut. All right, that looks good. So we'll come back for the unmolding. Okay, so these have been sitting probably for four days. I've just been so busy after work that I haven't gotten around to do this. Um, you can see they're turning slightly brown because of the um, vanillin, vanilla, I don't know what it is. It's a funny word, but that's what is in most of the sugary sweet scents like this French toast, and it causes the soap to turn brown, which is fine for this one. I don't mind it. Anyway, I've got BG and E working on the gas lines right now out front, so I'm trying to film this in between. Can't do much of any filming today because I have them running in and out of my house, tracking dirt in, digging holes in my yard, and making noises. I'm mad I didn't get to sleep in. You're missing a little chunk out of that one. So let's do this guy too. So they come out pretty easily. You do have to give it a little twist on this part. For some reason it, it's a, a little stuck. But it comes right off. And I'm just sitting them on a paper towel because when I go to decorate them, I'm sure it's going to make a lovely mess. I'm going to use some melt and pour to do a frosting and some sea salts to do some sprinkles. So I'm going to get that together and bring you back. Okay, so I played around with a few. <laughs> I wanted to test it out. So I have some melt and pour that's not too runny in here. It's got like a very thick consistency and you want to take the donut, soap or real donut, it works the same, and just turn it upside down and dip it. And you want to hold it upside down as long as possible until all of it drips off, all that excess drips off. And you can kind of just keep twirling it and turning it until it stops moving, basically. All right. And that avoids all those drips on down the side of it. And then before it dries and hardens all the way, I'm just going to sprinkle some salts on here, like that, and then I'll let that dry, and I'll probably go and add some more drizzle on top of it. So keep going with that here. I am loving this mold. This was so easy and so cute. 
that I'm ready to make more donuts. Definitely going to make some pumpkin spice donuts for the fall, but if there are any specific donuts you think I should make, be sure to leave that in the comment section so I can plan. This mold is going to become a regular for sure. I'm a little upset about how small they are, but I might have to sell them in like a pack of two. Love them. Look at that. Too cute. All right, let's keep going here. And then you can reheat this as needed. It is getting a little thick on me. But that's fine because if it is thick, it'll at least coat it thicker. Less likely to drip and it's going to look better on the donut. All right. Favorite donut. What is everyone's favorite donut? I'm not a big donut fan, honestly. But if I'm going to eat one, I don't like cake donuts. Maybe if they're chocolate. But I like that doughy, yeasty, fluffy kind of donut. I don't want the, I don't want cake donuts, which is probably what these are made for. They're not they're not like, you know, I don't know, that glazed donut. I think just plain old glazed donut's good for me. I don't like icing on it. I don't like powdered sugars. I don't like sprinkles on my donut. I'm just plain Jane and happy about it. Um, or cinnamon. I like cinnamon donuts. If you put a little cinnamon sugar on it, I'd eat that. Sorry not paying attention to where everything is falling in line with the camera here. You guys can't see anything. That little bubble there. Oop. All right, so I'm gonna keep dipping these and then I'll bring it back for the cinnamon drizzle. All right, so this is the messy part. This is the brown melt and pour. And I'm just drizzling it on these donuts. And then I'm done. And so is bg and &E. I am so happy because the, the cats have been so upset about being <laughs> locked in their room this whole time. And I, trust me, I'm not happy. I can't sew. <laughs> so they're finally leaving and I can have my house to myself. All right. I'm digging these donuts. Let's pick one up and get a close-up here. What do we think? Yum. And they smell so good. Alright, I'm just going to let these dry. And they're going to sit on my curing rack for about four weeks. And I will leave the release date in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing any of them. Don't forget to tell me what kind of donuts you guys like or that I should make in this mold. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Stay tuned for month. I always have trouble saying that. More fun soap making videos. And Leave any questions or comments in the comment section down below, guys. Smell you later.